Hey guys, it's Amy from DNudes. I've been here for a few months and I also have my own channel, you might have seen it, called Vintage Space. And if you've watched any of the videos that I've done, you've probably noticed that most of the things I do are space related because I'm a giant space nerd and I think space is about the funnest thing you can possibly do when you're doing science. So let's, let's talk a little bit about what makes space so awesome. So one of the things that I think is so fantastic about space is that every time we discover something new, and this has been going on you know, for, for centuries, it completely changes the way we understand space, but it also changes the way we think about our place in space and our place in the universe. I mean, if you think about it, it's really only been since Copernicus in 1543 decentered the Earth from the middle of the universe, and we you know, went from this geocentric to a heliocentric solar system. We were always the center of the universe, and then suddenly, in the last 500 years, we're not, and we're discovering that we're really not the center of the universe. We discovered Uranus in 1781, and then astronomers predicted that there was a planet beyond Uranus, and we found Neptune, and then they predicted a planet beyond Neptune, and we found Pluto. And, you know, as we all know, this is everyone's favorite failed story of a planet, maybe. Pluto was demoted to a dwarf planet, which changed our solar system again really recently in 2006, and now we have this amazing array of dwarf planets to study, including bodies like Ceres and Eris. And we're visiting these dwarf planets and we're learning so much about these other bodies in the solar system. And it's not just the planets in the solar system that are so interesting. We're getting all these new classes of planets and things to discover. All the moons of the gas giants, mainly Jupiter and Saturn's moons, are proving to be really phenomenal worlds to study. I mean, Saturn's Titan has methane and ethane seas, and Jupiter's Europa has uh, subsurface water oceans, like we need to go and explore these things. These things are amazing and they're right in our cosmic backyard. Those are some of the things that excite me and keep me up all night, but what excites you guys and what big space questions do you have? If you want to see more of my content, check out my channel, Vintage Space. There's a link right here and thanks for watching DNews.